WKBN 27 First News starts in-depth coverage now with breaking news. It's 5 a.m. on your Friday and gunshots rang out overnight on Youngstown's south side. And this morning, a 13-year-old girl is dead. What you're seeing here is video from the scene overnight on Carroll Street. Now take a look at your screen. We made this map to show you where it happened. This is the area on Carroll Street near Edwards Street. First News reporter Megan Lee is live at police headquarters this morning, going in depth on this breaking news. Megan, what have you learned? Anna, Brandon, this is not a good morning in Youngstown today. Police say a 13 year old girl was shot and killed on the 400 block of Carroll Street. Now, this incident happened shortly after midnight. Police tell us that there was a fight in the street with teenagers that broke out and then shots were fired. At this time, no arrests have been made. This is the fifth homicide in Youngstown so far this year and the second victim under the age of 18. Now, I did reach out to the lead detective on this incident for a comment. He tells me he'll be working with Mayor Tito Brown as well as the police chief Carl Davis for a statement. I just saw him moments ago and he tells me that we can expect some comments later today. That's all we have for right now. Live in downtown Youngstown, Megan Lee, WKBN 27 First News. Megan, thank you. This morning, we're going in depth on the violence we've seen in the city of Youngstown just this year. This incident is the fifth homicide of 2023. At this time last year, there were seven homicides in the city. This is also the second time just this year where the victim has been under the age of 18. The last homicide involving a young teen happened just weeks ago. Back on April 15th, Amaya Montserrat was shot and killed after a fight broke out at a birthday party at Martha's Boulevard Tavern. Now, two people have been arrested in this case, and the legal process is now underway. First News will continue to follow this breaking news story both on air and online. And if you have to leave the house, you can find all updates on our website, WKBN.com, and on our free mobile app. Hi everyone, I'm Lindsay Watson. Thanks for watching the WKBN 27 First News YouTube channel. If you want more video news, subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the WKBN 27 First News app for breaking news alerts.